always admired Andres Amador's ephemeral earthworks. So I thought I'd just write him and ask him if he wanted to make art on our beach and that I'd be happy for him to stay in my house. He wanted to offer one piece that we would do together as sort of an appreciation. And the only day he had available was August 15th. And I said, wow, that was my late husband's birthday. And he said, oh, then that means it needs to be a memorial to him. And I was tearing up at the time and it just felt like the right thing to do. gathering for a memorial artwork um, for Annie Medrano and uh, for two friends that we're commemorating. We'll be creating an artwork that is like a henna-inspired mandala, so a symmetrical circular piece that um, has kind of more of a spiritual quality to it. I need to do it during low tide, and so I have several hours to work. Uh, and. Yeah, usually it's about two hours that, that I give myself. And hopefully the tide hasn't returned by then. And then it's a beach that offers enough space to work. And this one is beautifully flat uh, and um, pretty wide, so lots of space. I love that I use my whole body, that in creating it, I have to, it's not just small with my hand, but my whole body is involved in it. So I can really feel the work. And then I love that I don't have to clean up when I'm done. <laughs> And I love the scale. There's something about doing something things oversized that just bring a whole new level of intrigue to the work.
Andres went out with his rakes and he did a rough outline of the whole design and you really couldn't tell just how amazing it was going to look from then. Uh, but from there he went with all the different styles of rakes he has and went into the detail work. The plate in the center there is the design that Annie created and they're, and they're basing it off of that slowly. Public art creation is important because I think it makes people stop and pay attention for a second, maybe stop thinking about whatever's going on in their lives or worrying about work. And if you really see something beautiful like this in public, I think it makes people slow down and kind of appreciate life more. And if people were inspired to, to do more of this theirself, I think, uh, I think we'd live in a lot more peaceful place. People express themselves more that way.
following Andreas's work online for a number of years. So when I saw something posted today about him being here, I got all excited and I ran down the beach. I live down on J Street. So um, to be able to see uh, how he, an artist from, it's usually on the West Coast, he's always in exotic locales you know, all over the world, is bringing this to, to Hull. And, and to know that there's, there's flowers and there's a story behind this, the fact that it's that personal and has a connection to somebody in the community, I think it makes it even more accessible. had me design the actual piece that's going in the sand. The artwork is going to have spiritual and visual pieces that relate to three people. So that's Salvador, my late husband, my closest friend Juliana, and then myself. So the elements that are going to represent my husband, who was a serious traditional person in, who we're going to have elements that are uh, beautiful and ornate. The kind of elements you'd see in henna art, artwork. And then the elements of Juliana 
were more spontaneous and um, childlike. That was her personality. So some of that is gonna be, there's a little bit of me inside the middle. I love antiques and vintage things, things that have uh, a history to them. So the very middle of the mandala is going to have uh, a vintage metal tray. Everyone who's in the ceremony is going to receive a long stem white rose. And there'll be limited body painting. I'm just gonna use one color to keep it simple, which is white, which is the color again of the roses. Oh, and we're gonna be having live Latin music afterwards and possibly some dancing in the sand. So it'll be sort of a serious tone and then it'll become more of a celebration. And I've noticed some, some of the people, some of my friends that are coming to this also have loved ones that they've recently lost. And so it's a cathartic experience for them as well. Just as the water comes in and washes things away, so does time and everything keeps changing. And so to be able to create something of beauty and then be graceful in releasing it and accepting that it's gone.